Zapatero. ¿Qué opina usted del gobierno de Zapatero? <risa> pues igual que yo. ¿Y qué opina usted? ¿Qué, qué, opina usted de... ¿Qué opina usted del gobierno canario? ¿Y, de, lo, y de, lo, de, lo, de los ayuntamientos de la isla? Hey, it's Chris Biggs and welcome to The Fix. Our first story is about Inception, number one in the box office again this weekend. That's the second straight week, or is it? Maybe it never existed last week and the thought of it being number one was planted in your head by Leonardo DiCaprio, which then led to you going this weekend, which then made it number one. Maybe all of this is just a dream and you're just a figment of someone else's imagination. Maybe this voice I use is ridiculous, but you still want more. Or maybe because I don't know how to end this story, I'm just gonna blow up a balloon for no apparent reason. And we have more movie news, and if you don't mind, we're gonna nerd out just a little bit. At Comic-Con this past weekend, they showed a trailer for Marvel's next superhero movie coming out this summer called Thor. Oh, but it didn't stop there. So on stage, you have the star of Thor, this guy. Nobody knows who he is, but he's hot, so it's fine. Uh, plus, John Downey Jr. was there. He's gonna be Iron Man in uh, the next Iron Man movie, of course, and the Avengers movie coming out. Then Chris Evans showed up. He's gonna be Captain America in that upcoming movie. Plus, Scarlett Johansson was there. Then Samuel Jackson shows up. He of course is Nick Fury in all the movies across the franchise. Then oh, there's a new Hulk. Look, it's Mark Ruffalo and he's here too. Oh, but no, we're not stopping. Cause then Academy Award nominee Jeremy Renner shows up. Who's he gonna be? Hawkeye in the Avengers? What? It's too much. It's too much. Oh God, nerdgasm. Nerdgasm. Oh God. Oh, I'm going down. Oh. And our ridiculousness belongs to a man by the name of John Maxim. He lives in Salt Lake City and he's run into some money problems. In fact, if he doesn't come up with $21,000 before July 25th, they're going to foreclose his house. So what he's decided to do to raise money is ask the world's help. And in return, if he raises enough money through donations, he will burn his car on a live internet feed. Now, John, if I can talk to you directly, um, you're clearly not a wise financial planner and you don't always make the best life choices. So um, burning your backup place of residence because you're going to be in the same situation again in about six months. And if you don't have your car to live in when that happens, um, you're fucked. And homeless people have nothing to burn, John. Except hope. John, why don't we start smaller? Uh, let's say, light yourself on fire. And that pretty much solves everything. John, don't light yourself on fire. Don't, please don't do that. It was, I was kidding, it was a joke. Don't. Um, can we get him some money?